What's going on guys? Tony here from LearnAutobodyandPaint.com. Another Q&A here. Um, so here is the question. Hey Tony, great new format. Love the la latest video you did on this format. Also really enjoy your live sessions. Before I ask you two questions, let me thank you as your videos and instructions are simply awesome and I and above all others, after watching countless hours of your videos covering every topic, I could imagine I had the confidence to try it on my own. Awesome! The cheapest price to paint a big bike like mine is $3,800. Woo! That's a lot. And I ain't about to do that for sure. And that's a single color. Now, after... Now, I did overspend and, and needed a lot of stuff. I spent about $1,000 in sandpapers fillers, electric random orbital sanders, tape spray, tape spray booth rental, 100 bucks a day, three colors of paint, clear coat, reducers. Hey, you got a lot of stuff for a thousand bucks, man, I gotta say. And I had a few issues like reading mixing ratios wrong, but still very pleased with my first attempt. I made a few errors, but know from your teachings how not to make those mistakes the next time. Anyway, question number one. Is a ridge line in a two-tone paint job on my bike. I went with a coat of silver, then taped my line seen in the picture attached. Then after taping my silver line, I painted the lower part gray-black and the top part I marbled with your plastic wrap technique. Then shot six coats of candy, oh my god, to get the deeper, darker wine color on top on the top half. Six coats of candy is a very thick amount of paint to the silver and I don't like that. Even the lower under the silver, which is a greasy black color, is only two coats thick, but it's much thicker than my silver base coat. I feel like I should have retaped the black and wine colors and reshot the silver again until the thickness matches closer. So I hope you understand the question and can offer what is the correct way for me to achieve this on my next attempt. So what I would do is, because you shot your silver, let's take a look at your bike, okay? What you could do now is actually flow coat it. Uh, six coats of candy is a lot. You probably could have got the same effect with maybe three to four coats. You know, six is a lot, um, depending on how much coverage you do, right? So it depends. Um, as far as the silver here, what you could do now is block it down with 800 grit, okay? Get it kind of flat. You got to just be careful to go slow and not cut too much. Then what you could do is lay an additional two coats of heavy clear on top of it, which is called a flow coat, okay? That's supposed to tighten up your gapping and the feeling of your different multiple colors on your paint, okay? So definitely... You know, you put a lot of layers on above the silver there. So you could basically, what I would do now, like I just said, is put a drop coat of clear coat only over everything. So you could just take your bike apart again if you want to. You didn't have to do it right away. But basically cut it down with 800 and try to smoothen out these areas and especially cut in here with your 800 grit. Try to get it as smooth as you can. Okay, you know, down in here, all, all your two-tone areas. It looks pretty cool, by the way. And um, this is really thick. And then put two coats of clear on it. After that two coats of clear is on, you can actually cut that down with 1,500 grit, then down to like 2,000 or 25 and buff it out, which will dramatically help you reduce the hard line that you feel on these edges here. Okay, so that's definitely what I would do. So hopefully uh, that helps. Okay, uh, question two is single stage versus base coat clear coat. I love the base coat clear coat method I use from your training, but I don't like the fact that the base coat can't be sanded before the clear coat. It seems to me any runs or mistakes could be better resolved with sanding on single stage before clear. Any sanding to base coat in a base coat clear coat system will create different color example Gloss black will turn dull black if you sand it. Um, end result, the above two problems exist on my bike. I'm still super happy with the results, but no, they can definitely be improved. So here's the deal. If you do sand and fix base coat, you need to put more base coat on it to cover it and then put your clear coat on it, okay? I would never recommend or say that if you sand 
your base coat, if you screw up, it's, get, guys, it's very hard to screw up on base coat. Like, I've never, ever had a run with base coat. You're not supposed to lay it that thick. You know, base coat is just supposed to get the color on. It's supposed to dry flat. You're not supposed to have orange peel. If you do, you can cut that orange peel down by sanding it out with maybe 600 grit or 400 grit, get it flat again. And then I would reduce your base coat down a little bit more. Throw 10%, 15% more reducer in there, okay? And then spray it on to get the color and make sure it's flat. Okay, you always want to have freshly sprayed base coat before you put your clear coat. You never want to sand your base coat and then put your clear coat on it. It's not going to come out right. Okay, so hopefully this answers question number two. So that's pretty much it. Let me know. Comment down below uh, if you get this on YouTube. I'm also going to directly email you this video. So it's Tony here from Learn Auto Body and Paint, guys. If you have any questions like, uh, like this here, all you got to do is comment down below. You can even email us your questions. Uh, we take them in and I make video replies like this uh, to hopefully drive the point across uh, to you a lot easier. Uh, if you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe, like, share the video. And you can click the top right of this video. There will be a drop down where you can click and go to a page like this where you can download a free 85 page auto body booklet. Or the link below in this description is going to be links to the blog to learn autobodyandpaint.com. You can learn more about VIP. There's so much you can do. We've been helping tens of thousands of people across the world learn step-by-step -step auto body. Uh, I've been doing this since I was 15. Uh, more than 20 years of experience in this game uh, doing custom paint jobs in auto body. And I've been helping hundreds of thousands of people through my free trainings over the past 10 years online. So it's Tony here. Like the video. Share. Subscribe. And I need to change the color of this because I don't like the color of this red. Anyway, peace out, guys. Comment below, like, share, subscribe, turn post notifications on, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.